I spoke with Dr. Michael Conway from the University of Arizona this afternoon. He's one of the premier researchers in the country when it comes to seismic activity. And as I found out, the answer is yes, but knowing exactly when is really impossible to know. This video shows just how active Arizona's seismic activity is. Since 1852, we've had 3,500 seismic events ranging from barely detectable to a whopping 7.5 magnitude quake near Douglas that happened all the way back in 1887, causing extensive damage. Thursday's earthquake in Ridgecrest, California was felt by people across Arizona, including right here at 12 News in downtown Phoenix. How were we able to feel it out here in downtown Phoenix? Those earthquakes waves just continue on through the Earth's crust and continue to propagate outward. Dr. Michael Conway keeps track of seismic activity for the U.S. Geological Survey in Arizona. He says there's no major faults running across the Phoenix metro area, but there are several parts of Arizona that could get a major earthquake in the 6 to 7.0 range, including the Imperial Fault that is about 50 miles west of Yuma that could rupture into a 7.0 magnitude within the next 40 years. The Little Chino and Big Chino Faults near Prescott, they're capable of delivering between a magnitude 6 and and seven earthquake and the Lake Mary fault that runs from the Mormon Lake to city boundaries of Flagstaff. It's capable of a 7.0 magnitude quake that could have a major impact on the Flagstaff Metro. Believe it or not, Arizona has between 50 to 100 quakes a year. Most go unfelt. The biggest ones hitting near Prescott, Flagstaff and the New Mexico border. Dr. Conway says the likelihood Phoenix would ever experience a really strong earthquake is unlikely, but when and where they'll hit is a real guessing game. Yeah, not at predicting, but at forecasting. So nobody can tell you when the Imperial Fault in uh, Southern, Southern California is gonna rupture. All right, so really fascinating stuff there. If you'd like to know more about the seismic activity in Arizona, Dr. Conway suggests that you Google this, natural hazards in Arizona, and that's gonna bring you to Arizona's map for seismic activity and a whole lot of other information that's really informative. I'll put that within this article on 12news.com.